Hello, children of God. I'm Tammy, and last week we talked about ways that we could be plugged into God so that we could share the love and light and power with others. Today, the Reverend Kelly Lane is going to be talking about having a thankful or a grateful heart and prayer. I would first like for you to do a few prayer positions with me. Start in a traditional position like this with your hands together and your head slightly bowed. And now bring your hands into your mouth and say praises to the Lord. And now bring your hands back in to your traditional prayer pose. And I want you to just worship and bow down. Very good. And now I want to share with you a couple of verses from our psalm of today. It's Psalm 95, and I'm going to share with you verses 1 and 2 and 6. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise with songs of praise. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. When we pray to God with grateful hearts, it makes God very happy especially when we thank God for what God has given us. And one way that you can do this is every night before you go to bed, think of three ways that God has loved you and shared his love with you throughout that day. And then you can either draw them or you can write them down. You can hold them in your heart or you can actually thank God for those three things. And when you do this, it makes God very pleased. God loves it when we thank him for our blessings. And now I would like for all of us to stand up and do a body prayer thanking God. Let's start with your hands in your regular prayer pose. We worship and sing praises to the Lord. We thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit that is with us always. We bow down before our Lord and Maker, Creator of all the universe. Amen. <laughs> 